come on, 3200 millimeters lens, we have to try it. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, I have a new toy, let's play. Let me just introduce you to what the hell is this. This is a 800 millimeters f8, actually locked at f8 mirrorless, mirrorless, mirror lens. It's mirror because it uses mirrors to get the image to the sensor of your camera. So let's look at the money maker, and here we have it has this thing here, almost like telescope, and in the lens cover you can see 105 millimeters. So if you want to add a filter on this beast, you need a 105 millimeters filter, which is quite a lot. So the brand is uh, Wiley Max Pro. So you have Sanwan Young, you have uh, Optica, I don't know what, and there is a lot of brands that do this uh, this lens, but this one is the one that I found here in France. So how this lens works? is the light gets through here hits the back mirror it reflects back to this point here that is actually another mirror and this reflects back to your camera sensor so this comes with a connection of um, t2 so you need to get the adapter also and uh, the cool thing is if you sell this for a a guy that uses Nikon or Sony or Pentax or whatever, they just need to replace this part. They can reuse this lens. And let's be honest, this lens is way cheaper than a traditional lens at 800 millimeters. Usually, a 800 millimeter lens is this big and uh, very, very heavy. But this one, it's light and uh, quite cheap. May I say it's around 250 euros, so yeah. Let me explain what the hell is happening up here. So up here, I have my smartphone connected with an OTG USB adapter to the camera, like so I can control the camera and have a live view directly into an app, and I will screen capture my smartphone. Like so, you can actually check out what I am doing. Okay, let's do this. Well then, what I am trying to photograph today is actually a cross on the top of that mountain over there. You can't see the cross, but it's there. Uh, I don't know why, but the French people here in the French Alps like to put crosses on the top of mountains. So that's the thing that you learned today. So this lens doesn't have any electronics, so you have to focus manually. Nice. So as you can see, the image is a bit overexposed so let's change the shutter speed to a faster one and here we have it just to be sure I gotta zoom in on the image just to be sure that everything is in focus so as you can see every single time that I touch on the camera it shakes a lot so if you have a modern camera that has sensor image stabilization it will help a lot because this camera as I said doesn't have any electronics on it so new image stabilization for this bad boy. It would be great to have a shutter release uh, cable, but I want to travel light. I didn't, I didn't want to bring a lot of stuff with. Okay, yes, I, I forgot. I forgot at home. Okay. And so we need to add a delay, 10 seconds shutter delay. And let's try to take this picture. As this doesn't use a traditional lens, instead uses mirrors. As you can see, the, um, the colors and the contrast are really flat. You're gonna have a little bit of post-production work to do on this image. Another thing that it's funny about this camera is it has um, a mirror in the center of the lens. If I point to some lights, as you can see, the autofocus elements are donuts, which is um, a very particular look. Well then, that is nice and dandy, but the T2 lens have a big thing up its sleeve, and it's this. This is a two times lens converter for a screw of T2. So you have 
the double of zoom, 800 millimeters will become 1600 millimeters and you will lose two stops of light. That means from f8, f11, f16. But you have two times zoom. Let's play with this. Really simple. Let me say that that cross over there, it's around six kilometers from here. And you can see it closely like that. That is mind boggling. So let's, let's take a picture. Really awesome. So why stop here? This is a two times converter, a traditional converter. This also will convert two times the already crazy 1,600 millimeters to 3,200 millimeters. It's also cut two stops of light. So F16, F22, F32. Okay, come on, we have to, we have to try. This is madness, but we have to try. So the image quality will drop a lot when I put this, um, this two times adapter, but come on. 3200 millimeters lens, we have to try it. So, as you can see, I also re adapt a tripod lens holder so the weight will be better distributed on the tripod. Just if you are wondering what the hell is this. So, I'm really pumping up the ISO because it's F32. Come on. I am trying to lock the tripod head in the right place, but I can't because it actually always goes a little bit eh, a little bit eh, and just that millimeter of a millimeter eh, angle, it's really making a big difference. So it's getting hard to point this. Yes, yes. So let's try to focus at the, at the cross again. So as you, as you can see, we actually can see the air movement. <laughs> That's really weird. And also you can see that the image quality really drops a lot. But let's try to pick, take a picture of this. And Houston, we have a problem. The app it's freezed and uh, the camera it's pointing out a communication error between the lens and the camera. I know that the Sigma lens sends the information lens from the lens to the camera, but as this lens doesn't say anything about it, I guess the camera flips out, uh, bugs something. So that's a problem. So the only solution now it's cut the communication between the Sigma doubler to the camera. What I'm gonna do, it's quite stupid. You shouldn't ever never ever ever do it because it's quite stupid yeah i i actually gonna do it so what i'm gonna do is actually rotate a little bit the camera and unconnect from the sigma two times teleconverter there we have it it's a little bit sideways <laughs> but just let's just try to take to snap a picture like that I really, I feel really uncomfortable with this. Here we go, back in place. Ah. Well then, there we go. Crazy 800 millimeters converted to 1,600 millimeters converted to 3,200 millimeters. It's not really a review, but uh, I guess it's a really fun lens to uh, to work with. I'm gonna try to make uh, other photos with this uh, lens. I I will remove the Sigma doubler because it's way too risky use it. Yeah, I'm gonna snap some photos and I will have some fun. So the photos will be on my website. You can download them to review them if you want. Yeah, let me know on the comments what you think about this, about this lens. Also on the comments, 
leave any questions that you may have, drop a like if you learned something, and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I am Miguel, until next time, see ya!